What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back uh, to Terabyte Reacts. Today we are beginning a new journey. A new journey. Well, not really new, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, season four of Viking begins today, man. I'm hyped. I'm ready to watch this. We all know what's going on in the series, man. Don't let me have to do a recap for you i just want to see what's going to happen next in this series as we embark on this new season man um man they got me good they got me good in those last three episodes i did to um to wrap up season three man they got me good i i really did think thought they had killed ragnar off on the show and I'm telling you guys, like, you can see from my reaction, I teared up because I was like, that's one character I don't want to lose in the series. At least not right now. You get what I'm saying? At least not right now. I'm not ready. I wasn't ready for it if it was going to happen. You know, me knowing that, you know, they're about to do what, season six? I think they're about to do season six now. Um, so I'm thinking why now, you know what I'm saying? Cause I know they're, they're like three seasons, two seasons ahead of me right now, you know, cause I still have to watch this season, next season. This season is the longest one I'm going to be, that I'm going to be watching. Cause I think it's 20 episodes in this season. So <laughs> we're getting to the long ones now. Last season was what it, what it was 10. I don't remember how many episodes I watched in season three, but this season going to be one of those long, long ones, 20. My worries for this season, as I've seen for many shows um, that have many TV shows that I've watched both in the past and series that I'm currently watching now that I don't react to is that, you know, series that goes on for a long time you know having 20 plus episodes for the season they usually have pacing issues and i'm wondering if it's going to happen to vikings because they've had really short seasons you know from season one to season three it's really short you know what i'm saying like but it's good you know they're telling they're telling a story the events of what's happening progressing very well as you guys know, I'm not a, a, a big fan of season one, even though it was really good. It's not my favorite season. Um, season three is my favorite season. Now, now that I've finished watching it, season three has become my favorite season over season two because season two was absolutely amazing. Um, was really good. I Right now... I don't think I, I I don't think there's any character that I hate. Eight I did not want Athelstan to die. That's one of the things. Like I know I wasn't gonna cry for him, but at the same time, I really felt the grief and the 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 anger. The, the you know what I'm saying? Why for Ragnar that he was going through? You know. So that's where that comes from. But season one, I gave it a nine out of 10 based on what they were trying to set up. There were, there were a lot of pacing issues in season one, you know, and I know you guys hear me talk about pacing a lot, but you guys got to understand pacing is what keeps you interested in a show. If the pacing is too la lacking and there's not enough interest during those really slow moments in the show you can lose interest in the show and i'm not saying there should always be action but there has to be interest in dialogue say for instance compare season one of vikings to season one of game of thrones game of thrones 10 episodes vikings nine episodes right season one of game of thrones i was not bored at all and those are all one hour episodes and i was not bored at all because the dialogue was so rich we didn't get to see much action until the end of season one for game of thrones you know what i'm saying and yes game of thrones forgot who it was 
So, and I'm not saying that it never, ever had a bad season and there was never a, you know what I'm saying, bad pacing in any of the seasons, but I'm just comparing apples to apples, season one to season ones, you know, so that's just, that's just it, you know, so, but it has gotten so much better, you know, Vikings, just gotten so much better. I think they could have done a lot more with season one, not necessarily adding an extra episode, but also doing a lot more. There was a, there was a lot of time wasted that could have done so much more with a lot more better setups. Like the dialogue was not that interesting and you know, I've criticized it. So I'm not trying to revisit that, but you know, um, when it comes on to, um, this season, what I'm expecting is for them to keep the same energy, the same interesting thing that they've been doing, you know, and don't kill Ragnar. <laughs> right. So let's jump into this, man. I'm hyped. I'm ready to go. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing two episodes of this today. I might. But if you only get one, then you only get one. It depends on how they open the season because usually it, it all depends on what I'm seeing in the episode that I'm watching. You get what I'm saying? That will give me hype, get me hyped enough to watch a second episode for the day and maybe not do something, react to something else that I was planning to react to and just shot shoot two episodes of this show and then I can go to the other show another time, right? So let's do this, man. I've been talking for too long. I will see you guys over there. See you guys for the review. Make sure you subscribe if you're new too. Let's get it. All right, so here we are. Season four, episode one is complete. Unfortunately, I was not able or I didn't decide to do two episodes for the opener. Um, as I told you guys in the intro, it depends on what I see in episode one. It was good, but there's no need for me to jump into another episode um, right at this moment. Who knows? I might just do an, another episode tomorrow, but we'll see how things go. I have, um, if you guys have noticed that, Pretty much no anime has been posted on the channel for a while. I think it's probably around three weeks now um, or so since I've... I mean, I did anime. I think it was over the weekend. And it, it's not one of the more popular stuff on the channel right now. I'm just trying to um, get that one because I finished because I started it. Um, so I just wanted to end it. And then I'm going to go full-fledged again back into my anime reactions. Um... In the upcoming weeks but you know my anime guys they understand but let's talk about this this episode just wanted to give you guys a little bit of background about what's going on in the channel so if you're over here watching this you know what's going on right so this episode I laughed a little bit too much <laughs> it was some serious moments and I was laughing at them why because it's just it's this stuff is just not surprising to me anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, what surprised me the most in this episode is when Lagatha cut Einar's balls, he's cut his balls off his dick out, whatever she did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Made me a little bit different, diff difference in opinion towards her now because I'm like, damn, she's, I knew she was, a different type of women, you know what I'm saying? But now, she, bruh, the level of hate you have to have for a man to cut his nuts off is beyond, you know what I'm saying? But at least he get to to, to feel her feeling on his nutsack before, she, you know, before she, um, before he died. But I knew it was coming. I saw it coming because Calf really does have strong feelings for Lagatha. So I never saw him betraying her at that point. If he did, I would have been really surprised if he did. But I saw it coming. I knew he was like trying to find out 
who's against Lagatha so he could destroy them. So that was kind of like I saw it coming. And you guys see that I saw it coming. But anyways, when it comes on to the situation at home where, where Bjorn is leaving and Ragnar finally woke up. Seems like it's the first time he's woken up since they came back from Paris. Um, the boys are bigger. I mean, it's a season opener, so you know what I'm saying? I don't know if this is an actual, like, months later. It seems like it's it's got to be some time has passed since they came home. But they, in some ways, they made it seem like they just got home because they were sifting through the treasure and all of the, tre the tre treasure treasure <laughs> i said treasure it's treasure <laughs> right so yeah so um they were sifting through the 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 treasure right then and there so it made it seem like this but the boys have gotten way bigger you get what i'm saying so i don't know if it's the journey back took them month, months maybe maybe the journey back there took them months because we really don't know how long it takes them to get to Paris versus, you know what I'm saying? Versus the, the, the time, time passed. They don't really, I think that's kind of like a, um, a fault of the show, not to really show. That's one of the things I don't like when, you know, shows do that where there's a time skip and they don't account for it. Like they don't show anything. They don't say six months later, nine months later, one year later, 10 years later, you get what I'm saying? Like they need to portray that to the audience because then it left us guessing as to how long these travels take because we don't really, we don't really know. We are not out here traveling from wherever they're at to Paris. So we don't know the distance. You get what I'm saying? We don't know the time it takes by ship to, to do those kind of travels. So we don't really know. So it let, it leaves us, the audience kind of guessing. And that's why it, it was a little confusing to me, but I just went with it because I was like, they do this all the time in Viking. So it's not surprising. You just always got to be guessing what, you know, how much time passed, you know what I'm saying? So I'm guessing the time between them leaving and coming back is the time that we got to account for as in the boys are bigger right um ragnar's son um it looks like is um what's his name it looks like bjorn's daughter is around maybe two years old three years old kind of seems like that or maybe you know around around that age like two years old seems like they've gotten really they've gotten bigger so we got to figure that out. But in any way, this is not super important or anything. I just think that's kind of, you know, anyways, <laughs> Floki has been arrested. As I, as I said during the episode, I don't want Floki to die. I don't think it's a decision that, that Ragnar is going to make as in killing Floki. I just think he's conflicted. I don't think, um, Ragnar is, is the type of person. I think he's going to make him suffer. But I don't think he's going to kill him. You get what I'm saying? Because um, Elga also understands why Floki's in the situation he's in. He's still saying he did it for the gods. Ragnar said, no, you did it out of jealousy, which is very true. It might not be the whole truth, but it is a significant part of why he, why he was so adamant and killed Addison. I really do think he was jealous of the relationship that Athelstan had with Ragnar. I really do believe that because he was the homie from, I think it was season one, episode one. He was the homie. He was not the homie no more when Ragnar and Athelstan got close. So, you know what I'm saying? Not to say that he was um, not a friend anymore, but he wasn't the one that Ragnar looked to anymore. You know what I'm saying? And... I don't know. Bjorn makes decisions and it's not necessarily bad decisions. He's making these decisions and not thinking first or having patience. You get what I'm saying? He's he's making these decisions and thinking that this is what my dad would do. But also you got to understand that Ragnar 
the decisions that Ragnar makes, he always has, he always like two, three, maybe even 10 steps of everybody when he makes that decision. You get what I'm saying? So it's either something, he, he makes those decisions based on something that he sees or something that he expects. So you can't, you can't just go ahead and make a decision and say, oh, this is what my dad would do when you don't really know what he would do. You get what I'm saying? You're doing that thinking that this is going to please him. But at the same time, as Ragnar said, now you are forcing me to deal with this, which is something that I wanted to be patient with. Because we know he knows that Floki is suffering because he already told Floki that I know that you kill Athelstan, right? I know that. So totally understand where he's coming from with that, man. I, um, but I do understand Bjorn's situation. I do understand. He, he's just eager. He's just eager. And with all sons, with all daughters, you're just you eager to please your parents. Um at first <laughs> and then when you become a teenager you just become an asshole but <laughs> this, is, this is pretty much every teenager right so um but any case i dig it i dig the first episode laughed a lot didn't get to see um, e um king Eckbert, none of them over in um in england mercia we don't we didn't see none of those people so uh, we didn't see nobody from from Wessex. They didn't even show that storyline at all. So it's all about parents. I, as I said before, I think what's her name? I cannot remember. I can never remember her name. But the girl that's you know she's crying. I think she's gonna really grow to like Rolo, and I think I think they're going to. I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't know. I don't. I don't want to spectate. I, I, I mean. I'm talking about spectate. Did I just say spectate? I don't want to spectate. <laughs> I don't want to speculate. Okay? I don't want to speculate this situation. And, and you know, I just don't. I don't want to speculate. Cause, but right now, Rolo is in trouble. Definitely in trouble. He's done something again. And now he's back on the bad side of the boat. You know what I'm saying? From he got his redemption, you know, I've been rooting for him and stuff. And then you go and do some shit like this again. Does he feel like right now that he really has the army that can take out Ragnar? I think that's what he's thinking, maybe. But I think after this, I think, I think old girl is going to be like, oh. Oh, he's really with us, with us. You know what I'm saying? So she's going to probably warm up to him. But in any case, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, It's been, it, it's been a great um i think couple of weeks man and now that we're diving into a new season of vikings man i'm all for it 20 episodes 19 to go thank you guys so much for tuning in as always just remember to subscribe if you're new like the video the review and also leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you thought when you saw this season opener and i will see you guys next time terabyte out peace